Hey, I'm Eric Andre, and this is my shitty dating advice from a man who should not give any advice about anything. Okay, uh, my boyfriend and I have been together for about six months and have a fantastic relationship. We are very open with each other and are good friends as well as partners. Age 23 and 24. How do I tell him I love him without completely freaking him out? Just say, I love you. Or maybe double freak him out. Go, I love you! I love you! And shake him be like, don't you understand? We're gonna be together forever! I am the worst guy to ask advice about this. I'm an emotionally callous sociopath. I'm not sure whether this girl likes me or not. Every time I hit her up or call her, she's busy working, manager, or going to school full time, and I never get around to taking her out. Hmm, how do I get around this? Do I not talk to her and go on to the next level? Advice, please! Um, my first word of advice, know where to use parentheses. I don't understand manager and full time. Speak English, doc, I ain't a fucking scientist. She doesn't wanna fuck you. Uh, sorry to be so blunt, but uh, no one's that busy. Uh, busy is the oldest excuse in the book, cave women would say. They'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm busy, I got these rocks to Grind into little rocks. Kind of uh, coming off like an asshole, I'm sorry. You know what, I'll fuck you. No condom. I'm only 17 and I live in the Netherlands. I'm crazy about my best friend. I seem to sense some kind of connection, but all her friends say that she just doesn't see it that way. However, she once said she had thought about us in a relationship. If I were to be given the chance to be in a relationship with her, I'd be the happiest guy in the world. She is 16 and I'm 17. Please, any form of advice would be very appreciated. You're in the Netherlands, you guys got great ecstasy out there. Maybe just, just both of you pop mollies and see where that takes you. And if you guys still don't make it work, if your love doesn't blossom after that, after the serotonin machine gun blast away in your brain. Probably not meant to be. Uh, I have recently started dental school and have since become very interested in one of my classmates. She is really neat and seems like a good fit for me. Uh, the kicker is we will be spending essentially every day for the next four years together and we'll have the same friend group because of that. If we were to start dating and something went wrong, we'd have to live with it until at least 2018. So I'm asking for some friendly advice on how to approach this. Hey man, fill her cavity, you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was in high school, I was like, man, I don't want to date anybody from high school because then if I break up with them, I'll have to spend the next four years with them. I got to date chicks from different high schools, but I wasn't meeting chicks from different high schools. I wasn't meeting anybody, so I was an idiot. All right, last one. <clears throat> In this heterodominant society, I always see quotes such as, if he really wants you, he'll come after you, or whatever variations. But as a gay individual in that context, am I the him to chase, or am I the person in waiting? All of my gay friends get laid more than any, more than Wilt Chamberlain, more than anybody I know. Uh, just go outside, just go to a porn shop or a gay bar and um, you, it, won't, it will be like a few minutes before you're getting your dick sucked. See you in hell, Ann Landers. Is that a person? Yeah, it's, it is a person. I don't know who it is, but it's a person. See you in hell, Ann Landers, whoever you are.